A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 14, looking at sequences and series for the fifth time. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at arithmetic progressions, APs for short, the term-to-term -term formula for an arithmetic progression, using the term-to-term -term formula to find the nth formula for an arithmetic progression, finding the sum of the first four terms of an arithmetic progression, and finding the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Let's first of remind ourselves what is meant by an arithmetic progression. But before we can do that, we need to remind ourselves what a sequence is. A sequence is a series of numbers that have been made using some sort of mathematical rule. For example, this is the rule of the square numbers. So this is 1 times 1, this is 2 times 2, this is 3 times 3, this is 4 times 4. In other words, we're multiplying the position of the number by itself. So the position of that number is in position 3, and it's worked out by doing 3 times 3. So the nth number would be working out by multiplying n by n. In other words, n squared. Let's look at another sequence. Another sequence would be to start with a number, double it and add 1, double it and add 1, double it and add 1. So what we're doing is doubling the position and adding 1. Or we could just simply add a number on each time. So let's just add on 3, add on 3, add on 3. All of these are examples of sequences. But the last one is an example of an arithmetic progression. Because an arithmetic progression is when you add a constant term between successive terms. So if we start with 3, and then we add 4, and we add 4, and we add 4, we are adding the same constant term each time, and this produces an arithmetic progression. This a value that we're adding each time is called the common difference, and we usually denote that by the letter D. Now, in fact, we could add a negative number each time, and we could actually start with a fraction rather than a whole number. But an arithmetic progression is a sequence that has a constant difference between successive terms. So let's look at this arithmetic progression, where we're adding 3 each time. So the common difference, the value of D, is plus 3. Now let's find the nth term of this arithmetic progression. The first method is to appreciate that if you add 3 each time the nth term is in fact going to be 3n plus or minus a value. Now to find that value one way is to take the difference, the common difference, subtract it from the first number in this case 3 from 4 gives you 1 and it's gives you the information that is in fact plus 1. Let's check this works by giving n the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we give n the value of 5, putting 5 into here, 3 n's is 3 5's, plus 1 should work out this term, and in fact it does. So it works. Now let's look at another method. Another method is to remember that the first term is signified by this notation. This says the first term, and we give the first term the value of a. The second term is obtained by taking the first term and adding that common difference to it. The third term is obtained by adding the common difference to the second term. So this is a plus d plus d, or a plus two d's. The fourth term is obtained by taking the third term and adding the common difference again. So in other words, it'll be 2d plus d, which is 3d. So the nth 
term which is signified by this if you notice that here I added one value of d for the second term, two values of d for the third term, three values of d for the fourth term, so I'm actually going to be adding n minus one values of d to the first term. This is therefore the nth term for any arithmetic progression. Now let's look at the nth term for this particular arithmetic progression. In other words, it's the first term, which is the value of a, which is 4, plus n minus 1 lots of the difference, which is 3. Let's check that this works, again, working out the fifth term. In other words, n equals 5. So the fifth term, this would denote the fifth term, is 4 plus the value of n take away 1, which is 5 take away 1, multiplied by 3, 4 plus 12 is 16. It works. Now let's see what I mean by the term-to-term -term formula for an arithmetic progression. If this is the nth term, the term before that would be n minus 1. So to find the nth term, we take the term before it and add on that common difference. This is called a term-to-term -term formula. There's another way we could write it and say that the n plus 1th term equals the nth term add on the common difference. These are called term-to-term -term formulas. When you use a term-to-term -term formula, you also have to include the value of the first term. And the value of the first term is always going to be a. So either of these would be acceptable as a term-to-term -term formula for an arithmetic progression, and we would include the information of what is the first term. Now we're going to use that information to find the formula for the nth term. So, this is the first term. The second term is the first term add on the common difference. In other words, a plus d. The third term is the second term add on that common difference. In other words, it's this a plus d plus another value of d. In other words, a plus two d's. The fourth term is the third term add on that common difference. This is the third term so we add on that common difference and we get the value of the fourth term. The fifth term is the fourth term, add on the common difference. In other words, this, add on the common difference again. In other words, the nth term, which I've just showed you before, but we're going to look at it again, is the first term add on one less than the nth term, lots of the value of d. This is the first of three very important formulae connected with arithmetic progressions. You have to memorize this and the other two formulas because you won't find them on any formula sheet. So you need to appreciate how I arrived at this and you most certainly need to learn this and understand it. This is the first of three formulas that you are expected to know under this topic.